Jan Oser here in frozen Galax, Virginia. Have you ever shot video with your iPhone or with your iPad or created video with Camtasia and it looks and sounds great when you play it in VLC Player or in QuickTime? Then you bring it into Adobe Premiere Pro and all of a sudden it totally loses sync. In this tutorial, we'll tell you why that happens and more importantly, we'll show you how to fix it. The reason this happens is a problem with Premiere Pro, specifically with handling variable frame rate video. Now, in projects that I've done, I've seen this crop up um, in footage from an iPhone, as we saw a moment ago, footage that I've captured from Camtasia, footage that I've captured in Wirecast, and pretty much any program that captures in variable frame rate mode. Now, the easy fix for that is a program called Handbrake. Now, Handbrake is a free cross-platform, so it's, it's Mac and Windows, downloadable tool from here. And basically what it is is a, is a very elegant front end for the X.264 codec. And this is what it looks like here. So you bring in your source file here, and the file that I've been working with is iPhone.mov. The file that we're going to create is the CFR1. So you bring it in here, and then there's just a couple settings that you need to worry about. Number one, this is an embedded preset, the high profile, so choose that to make sure you have a good starting point. Now we're going to use CFR encoding, or CRF encoding, excuse me. Now what CRF encoding does is encode at a constant quality, and if you drop this all the way down to zero, you're going to get pretty much lossless quality. So even though you're encoding with X.264 or the H.264 codec, you're, you're not going to see any quality degradation. Now the key configuration option you need to make is frame rate. You want to check the frame rate of your source with the iPhone it's 30 and then you want to make sure that you choose constant frame rate and that's the one thing they absolutely have to do to make this work and then you can check the audio and then if you'd like you can boost the audio data rate up to around 320 or so to make sure that you get very little compression on the audio. Then you come back to the video and press start. And when you press start, pretty fast encoder should take, you know, one or two minutes for each minute of video. Now let's go look at the files that we started with and finished with. So here is the project in Adobe Premiere Pro. And this is another free program called Media Info. So Media Info is a file analysis tool. Now this is the original video. Let me drag that in. And if you look in the video description here, you'll see that the frame rate mode is variable. And that is the cause of the problem. If you drag in the CRF video, you see that the frame rate is constant. And now, if we go back to Adobe Premiere Pro and come over to the Handbrake video, which is the video that we just adjusted in Handbrake, we'll see that the sync is perfect. Then you bring it into Adobe Premiere Pro, and all of a sudden, it totally loses sync. In the so the bottom line is, anytime you bring video into Adobe Premiere Pro from any of these sources, if you experience loss of sync on a Premiere Pro sequence, then try the adjustment that we just made in Handbrake, and 99% of the time, just changing from variable frame rate to constant frame rate should fix it in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching.